Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby if you didn't know. Now you know. Happy 2023. I know I kind of disappeared after Vlogmas for a couple weeks, but it was a very much needed break and I've actually been like so inspired and like motivated to get back onto YouTube and to make content and I'm just really excited for what this year has to offer. So first video back of the new year and we're keeping it like our regular scheduled programming doing a weekend in my life. So today's Friday. I It's already like definitely not morning. Did I say good morning? I don't think I did today because it is like almost 2 p.m. I spent this morning just kind of getting my life in order when it comes to what's going on up here. Like I said, I'm so inspired and like really motivated right now on really like taking my job of like content creating, social media, all of that to the next level this year. So I kind of planned out what my 2023 goals are for like content creating and just kind of what I want to do with it. So I literally, you guys know, my iPad and Procreate is my best friend. I literally made a, well, I made multiple to be honest, but made a 2023 goals of like what I want to post and how often I want to post on all my channels, which the plan is, and I really, really, really want to stick with this. Justin's on the same page. I think this is going to finally going to be the year that it works, but I want to be posting once a week on this channel and once a week on the Justin and Gabby channel. That way my content is more separated. I don't want to shove like couples content down your throat on this channel. I know that you guys have come and I, I gained a lot during like my breakup and my single time and I don't want to then like lose that audience or lose just like that individuality of me in content. So that's why I don't want to be like the cringy couple. Like we're not doing the pranks. We're not doing any of that. It's just obviously he is such a huge part of my life and with cheerleading and like we have so many fun videos that we want to make, but I want to kind of keep the content separate. So the plan is once a week on this channel, once a week on that channel. So you're still getting two videos a week. And I'm really excited. Something that I want to do, which will probably be the next video is I really want to get into working out and fitness and I'm going to go into that way more into detail, but get excited for the next video because it's going to be something very new for that channel. But look at, I literally have gone crazy. This is my January, like I made two January calendars. This is my January content and like lifestyle calendar. And then this is my January cheer, like what days I'm busy calendar. 2023 has started and we are fully on our organizational game and I feel really good about it, which is so weird because growing up, I was the student, I never wrote down my homework in my planner, I never like wrote down anything. And now as I get older, I'm like, I need to get everything out of my brain and onto something so that I, one, don't forget it, and two, just like have a list to go off of. So not sure what changed as I got older, but this is a very long intro. And I feel like this is something with my content going into the new years, I want to just talk more. I made that one video where it was like, vlogging as if we're on FaceTime and you guys loved it. And it was like, this is like the content I want to see. Like, I just want to feel like I'm hanging out with you. So if you don't like it, I apologize. It's not going to be every video, but it mostly happens. So Justin's out of town this weekend. I haven't even said what this video is going to be. Justin is out of town this weekend. He's having a guy's weekend, which I love that for him. You guys know how much I love my alone time. And we just got back a couple days ago from like our new year's trip and just like over the holidays. So the apartment is not in order at all. I literally still have two suitcases right here, fully packed that I've been having to get clothes out of. And instead of just like unpacking them, I just threw them on the floor to get stuff out of it. So I am so much more productive when I'm alone. Hence why I love my alone time. So anytime Justin's like, Hey, I'm going to leave for the weekend or I'm going to go here. And I'm like, I'm leaving everything that I need to get done for this weekend because I just get so bored easily when I'm alone that I love being productive, which was a little unhealthy when I lived alone because I was consistently working. Like it'd be 11 p.m. at night and I'm like, mm, I'm not tired. I'm going to work because what else am I going to do right now? So when Justin's around, I feel like I'm not as productive because I just love spending time with him. So I was very excited when he was like, hey, I'm going to go this weekend. And I'm like, I have so much to do that times out perfectly. So First thing on the list today, like I said, it's already like 2 p.m. So can we take a minute? Why am I breaking out so bad? I don't start my period for another like two weeks. So I'm a little confused what's happening there. But anyway, I feel like I'm all over the place in this video because I haven't been able to vlog or talk to you guys in like two weeks. So now I need to get everything on the right page. I have a feeling this is going to be a long video considering 
Just the intro is already five minutes. Do you want to say hi? They haven't seen you since last year, dude. They haven't seen you since last year. Say hi. Okay. Anyway, we're going to get our lives together in this video. Today, the plan is to just like unpack and get the living room and kitchen area kind of in order. And then tomorrow, well, okay, we'll see how much we get done. And then one of the days this weekend, either today or tomorrow, I need to tackle this mess. My bedroom is always like one of the cleanest rooms in the apartment. Like I always keep it so nice and organized. But this has happened, which has not been my fault because I had to leave it all out because I was filming a sponsorship. Okay, this is real crooked. And so I didn't want to like put it in my closet until I knew everything was approved. And then they decided just to X the contract and not pay me. So don't want to get sued for defamation. So I'm not going to say the brand name, but screw them. Um, but that is like what all these clothes were for. So I need to go through them, sort what I'm keeping, what I'm giving to Lexi, what I'm going to put on like, I don't know, Poshmark Depop if you guys want some of those. But I need to go through that majorly because that has been driving me nuts. It's literally been piling up since like, I think October, which is not like, that is not normal for me. And then here's the second issue that comes with that. So my closet, I don't think I can fit any more clothes in here. So it is about time for the annual closet clean out to happen. Now I am just not even gonna get my hopes that high. I know for a fact I'm not getting through all of that today. So that is the plans of this weekend. I definitely want to start with unpacking first because two suitcases of clothes just sitting there is way too many. Okay, unpacking is done. I have accumulated quite the dirty clothes pile, so I'm gonna get started on all you have to do two loads of laundry. So we're gonna get started on laundry. I did order food because, like I said, we literally just got back from the holidays and like being gone for two weeks. So we've like no groceries. And we really want to start. It's like I love that I'm saying like these are all my New Year's resolutions and New Year's goals, but that doesn't start until next week. <laughs> Which I don't think is a bad thing because like I said, I'm using this weekend to get my life completely in order, get like the apartment. Good, I'm the type of person where I can't feel like, I, I don't know, I was gonna say like successful or just kind of, I guess kind of motivated when my space is a mess. I feel like I need my space to be organized first before my life can be organized and I can like really get things done. So I am okay with putting off like most of the New Year's goals until next week. So next week is going to start like my fitness journey and we're gonna get like, groceries and really plan out meals and I'm not we're not like big into meal prepping so it's not going to be like that but I more so just like didn't want a grocery shop yet knowing that we were going to have to plan all of that out for next week anyway so let's get some laundry done while we wait when does it say my food's getting delivered 237 so not too bad on time didn't take that long the unpacking part was easy the part that I hate is hanging clothes back up but got that done out of the way okay it says food isn't coming till 305 so we still have kind of a while i think next up on the list is going to be tackling just like this living room space i just have other things to unpack in here like not clothes wise and i think we're gonna save the bedroom at least like the clothes part of the bedroom for tomorrow because I, to me, like, the living room is, like, most important because that's, like, where I spend most of my time. I'm literally only in the bedroom to sleep. And I just don't want to get started on something and not have enough time to finish it. So I think we're going to tackle the living room first. Food is here. I got at least, like, the things that were here cleared out. I didn't really get anywhere else in the living room kitchen area. But it's lunchtime. So I ordered that place that we tried. I still don't know how to pronounce it, like Kufo. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's a new place that we discovered. And oh, I got a California roll, sub the cucumber for cream cheese, and this ginormous thing of chicken pad thai that is definitely going to last me two meals. 
Hence why I also got a California roll, so I'll probably barely even get into this. And then I have, like, that is full. That is heavy. So I will have food again either later tonight or tomorrow. I am going to watch Emily in Paris. I think it's a super cheesy show. I don't, like, love it, but I feel like because I watched the first two seasons, I just, like, have to keep watching it. So we're going to sit and eat, watch an episode of that. And then we have about, I don't know, Lexi just called me that she got out of work, so we're podcasting today too, so we're going to start that at like four-ish, so we'll reevaluate on what needs done after I finish eating. Food was so good, and then Justin ended up FaceTiming me, and then it was literally time to podcast right after that, so I've gotten nothing more, okay, well, I, I got stuff done, like obviously I had to record the podcast but i was so in the zone getting stuff done earlier and then the food got delivered and i was like honestly like i'm not even that hungry like i don't even want to necessarily stop what i'm doing right now to eat like i'd rather get things done but i was like mm, no i should probably just eat and then you know when like as soon as you sit down on the couch and then immediately it hit me and i was like i'm lazy right now luckily i didn't really have time to be lazy because i had to sit there for the podcast anyway but it is now 5.30. Cloud has a ridiculous amount of energy. And it's like about to be sunset. So I'm going to go take him for a walk. And then I have to leave for the gym at like 6.15. So I don't really necessarily have that much more time to get things done today. Here's the fit we went with. Just this and shorts. I feel like my arms get colder before my legs do. So I feel like this was a smarter choice. I should get gas. However... I am an independent woman who don't need no man until it comes to getting gas by myself. I always try to save it for like any time I'm out and about with Justin because he'll just pump my gas and I just, gas stations give me the creeps, especially now that it's dark out. My gas light has been on since yesterday, so like I really shouldn't push it anymore. Mm, I just don't want to get gas while it's dark. I guess I'll see if normally on my drives I'll FaceTime my family, but I don't know if they're busy i'll just call justin and make him sit on the phone with me while i get gas i guess because with justin not being in town i can't really push it if i accidentally run out of gas i i should be fine like i have 20 miles and the gym is like five minutes away but i just don't like putting myself in a scenario where like what if i miraculously hit traffic on the way home and would have wished i gotten gas you know that type of thing so we'll see but i'm not gonna take my camera to the gym today I hate that I won't be home till like after 10 o'clock. Luckily, I have food for dinner. I just hate that I didn't get everything that I wanted to get done today done at all. We are so productive. And we luckily we got two more days of the weekend, so. I'll probably just honestly, like I, when I get home, I'm just gonna shower, eat, and go to bed. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is the next day. We got the coffee brewing. This is my second day in a row using the ice roller in the morning whoo very cold at first but even if it doesn't have like any actual effects like i'm assuming it makes sense that the ice would help with like inflammation and all of that but it also just like jump starts my reactions and i'm like i'm awake i am ready for the day it feels really good too so good morning i just got out of bed put on some clothes like I said, we're making some coffee. And we're just gonna relax a little bit, drink coffee, and then get right to it. I am very sad about the progress yesterday. Obviously, like, I did what needed to be done first, and I, there wasn't any times where I was just, like, sitting around doing nothing. I just really wanted to get farther into, like, everything that needed to get done. And I did not, but that's okay. We got a decent chunk of time today. I don't have to be at the gym until later on in the day, which is really nice. So we are going to tackle that corner in the bedroom is the first thing. And then I do really want to do a closet clean out because I literally can't fit another hanger in my closet. But I have this issue that so my mom runs all like my Poshmark, Depops, any of that. And I let her keep like the money from it because I like to like help her out because she's helping me out so much. And she like loves running those things and it's just easier for her to like ship everything out. However, she does not live in the same state as me. So if I clean out my closet, everything is just gonna sit in like bags here until she can collect them. And then it's like, okay, yeah, I, I make room in my closet, 
but I'm just cluttering somewhere else in my apartment. And that's where I'm torn because like, I really want to get that done and I feel like it's the perfect time to do it. But we literally just clean out the guest room and I'm going to be putting clutter back in there. So that is the dilemma. I still think like that'll be last on the list. So maybe we'll tackle that tomorrow morning. I just need to get everything else done first and off the floor in that room. It feels so good. I cannot wait when we get a house. One of the first things that I want to like buy for and get is stuff for a coffee bar. I want like oh, this whole little nook. I want its own like ice machine with cute little spherical ice because like digging my hand through the freezer to get ice cubes is just not it. And I want to get like the little syrups and the little like frother. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait. Like, could I do all that now? Yeah, but it wouldn't be as fun. So we're just going to wait until we get a house, which probably starting like February, maybe. I'll go into like full house hunting mode or maybe even start this month because I'm over it. I want a house and we don't know what area specifically we want to live in. So I don't know if that'll help us or hurt us because like technically we just have way more of like a range that we can look for. So I think that would help us because I feel like that gives us way more houses as an option. But is that going to be like too many options and not as easy to find one? I don't know, but we shall see. If anyone knows of a really good realtor down here in South Florida, hook a sister up because I am not taking no for an answer this time. I don't know why I was doing that. I don't need more. Okay. Gonna go chill. Probably watch the... I like want to watch a YouTube video, but I feel like no one's posting it. Everyone's like still on break from Vlogmas, which believe me, I get because that's a lot to do in one month. But I don't really know what I have to watch. So... This is what we're working with. Here's the before. And one garbage bag completely full already. Okay, we're making progress. Things are looking so much better. I did end up putting the bag there. For right now, I don't love it. I need to obviously like fix the stuff on the dresser too but we're gonna tackle this i think what really needs to happen is so i ended up getting if you watched all my vlogmas videos you know i thought this makeup bag was the size of this i absolutely love this i need to figure out what i want to put in it potentially i feel like i could ugh, i don't know if the dyson will fit but i think i would really like to put it in there so we may try that but this does not fit in my makeup drawer now, so can't use it for makeup. So I got the matching from the same company, which the company's Mark and Graham. I've never bought anything from them, but I really liked that this came with pockets so it can kind of help keep me organized. And all my makeup right now is in here. And I don't even use half of it anymore because like so much of that makeup was competition makeup. Homegirl doesn't need pink sparkles in her makeup bag anymore so i really want to sort through everything and like really clean out my makeup and then like reorganize it into this makeup bag another thing i'm thinking i don't know how this happened i have somehow ended up on the ysl beauty pr list no idea how but their pr comes in these beautiful like i don't even know what this is considered but like this is like for real like marble heavy duty and i think i absolutely hate this now and i don't even keep my jewelry on it because something in the air of this apartment is just like toxic and it makes my jewelry tarnish so fast so i think it's just because it's like out in the open so i keep my jewelry mainly down here anyway so what i think i want to do is i want to use one of those as like my new jewelry holder thing to put in that corner of the vanity. So I think we're gonna also do that. But first up is going to be makeup. I am a little worried that this is so nice and white and I really wanna be careful with like, obviously the inside, it's gonna get dirty. I feel like that's inevitable. There's no way of like controlling that, but making sure that the outside stays really nice and clean, so. Okay, completely cleaned everything out and like legitimately cleaned the outside of all the makeup so that I'm starting with like a fresh slate. 
as it goes into the new makeup bag. And now I'm gonna sit here and sort through exactly like what I want to transfer over. Here's the thing that is kind of like, so in within that makeup bag, I always have a second makeup bag, which I like having of like certain products just organized so that not everything's together. However, this is disgusting. And I don't think I have another like any type of bag that's like this size that could fit this job. So I'm not exactly sure. I guess maybe we'll try it without this first. See if we can make, I feel like I need to wash my hands. I feel like I also have like just makeup all over my hands, but going to sit through, sort what I actually need to put in this makeup bag and then like what I can keep in this drawer that does not need to come with me anytime I'm like on vacation or just anytime I'm really doing my makeup. It is technically all packed up in here. It's pretty tight. I ended up not needing another bag because there's a pocket inside that I just put everything that was basically in this in that pocket. Mm, I, why do I still, for a girl that like doesn't wear makeup, why is this still full? I don't love that, but it zips. We're good. It fits. Ooh, I almost just put that down in makeup and the white bag already would have been dirty. Now it is time to honestly probably take everything off of my vanity. I need to clean it. And then we're gonna figure out what we can do with the jewelry. This is going to be a later thing because I don't think, like this can't even go anywhere on my vanity. I think this is gonna end up going under the bathroom. So I need to clear that off and go from there. This is a beautiful sight that I have not seen in way too long. I ended up deciding, I was like, I don't even, the jewelry that was sitting here is the jewelry I don't use. So I was like, why is it sitting here? So I just put it in a drawer. I ended up putting just like the YSL things down here because I really don't have anything to fill them yet, but it's something that I definitely want to keep because when we get a house, I just have a feeling that I'm going to love those as like storage. So whatever I need to keep out or like, I don't know. And anywhere, I just feel like even as like low key kind of like decor, those are so nice. So I'm just going to keep them there for the future use. But guys, I have a corner again. I can use my vanity. My makeup is organized. I feel so good. And it's so pretty early. It is 120. So I have about two hours basically until I have to like get ready to leave for the gym. So I do need to eat sometime in there. I'm not that hungry yet. So I think what I'm going to do is, I guess I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with this. Cause if not, it's just like sitting out. And then it's, to me, that's when clutter starts. As soon as one thing sits here, then I'm like, oh, it's already messy. Like, let me just add another thing. Let me add another thing until my vanity in this corner looks like the way it did. And I refuse to let that happen. So we are going to figure out I just, I don't know if the Dyson will fit in this. This is so nice. I wish that it was smaller and I could use it as a makeup bag because I love the structure of it. It has so many pockets. What could I use this for? Great news, the Dyson fit perfectly in that and it saved so much space under the sink in there. Now time to tackle the closet. So most of the clothes that were sitting here that I like decided to save are all basically sweaters. So I think I want to do this in sections so I cannot leave this pile of clothes sitting here or else it'll drive me nuts. So I think we're gonna start with the sweater section of my closet. And I think I'm gonna like take everything in that section out, sort through it all, figure out what I wanna keep, what I don't wanna keep, and then put everything back in. I think that's gonna be the best way to do it. That way I don't feel overwhelmed because if I go section by section, I feel like I'll have a good stopping point today instead of feeling like I started half cleaning out my closet and now I still have half to do and I'm, you know what I mean? If I like program it to I have a good stopping point, it'll make me feel way better. So I think sections is going to be the way to do that. Officially cleared out our second garbage bag full of clothes. We are moving right along. Things are going well. And we have now made our way down to the pants down here on the bottom row. Now here's the thing. I did technically clear out the top row. I'm not the happiest with the progress because I feel like I definitely maybe should have cleaned out more, but this is also the part of the clothes that I don't have that much of. So like we're over here, I feel like I need to clean out a ton of this, clearly. These are screaming for their lives right here. 
same with the sweats the sweats need majorly cleared out but i can't really reach up there which is why they get so messy anyway because i end up having to just like chuck them back up there when i'm done i do have a step stool even that's not really tall enough so now we've moved on to the pants like i said and i really want to turn on the camera because these pants specifically have have a lot of meaning behind them and I feel like I, I want to share this because if, I know this is a very normal feeling. I got these when I was at my smallest and they fit me like a glove. I was obsessed with them. I loved the way they fit. And like, could I squeeze myself into them right now? Yes. But I, these jeans like literally just remind me of when I was smaller. And I feel like it's such an unhealthy message going through my brain every time I even look at them. And I, a lot of the times I've kept them in here because I'm like, oh, I'm going to get back into the gym. Like, they're going to fit me again. Like, I'm going to get smaller. They're going to fit me. Like, I shouldn't have to fit into my clothes. Like, my clothes should be bought to fit me specifically. And I feel like that is just such an unhealthy mindset to have. Like, oh, I'm going to keep those because, like, one day I'm going to fit in them again. Why don't I just buy them in a bigger size so they fit me now? Like, I just don't think that me keeping those. And like I said, I could probably squeeze myself into them right now. But just knowing the, like, how I feel when I look at these and it just makes me think of how I was when I was smaller, I don't like that feeling. So, I am being stronger than that mental message that I have and I am getting rid of them because I don't want to have to look at them in here and think like, oh, maybe I've lost enough weight where, like, they fit me now. I don't care. I have enough jeans that do fit me nice, that I feel good in, I feel comfortable, and that don't make me tear apart my body, that I don't need those. And I feel like that is a very healthy thing to do, and I feel like that feeling is, like I said, just like very common and very normal. So I wanted to include that in this video. I feel like I don't talk about like body stuff a lot of the time, but it's a very real thing. And even I've gone through it, and especially since, I'll probably talk about this in a lot of my next video, but not cheering anymore i feel like my mind went through like a crazy shift in my body because i was so worried about what my body was going to do not being physically active like that anymore and i was going through it for a little bit so we'll probably talk about that more tom or tomorrow in the next video but i wanted to include that because i just think that's really important but we're getting back to the pants it's not going very well look at this Do I need one, two, three, four, five, six pair of black pants? See, in my mind, yes, because they all serve a different purpose. But, like, do I actually need that many? I mean, I cleared out one pair, at least. But why is this so hard? Okay, cleared out a good amount of those. So this half of the closet is done, at least for now. It really doesn't look that much different. But at least it was something. Um, I think I want to move now on to out here. I don't have that much time. I kind of want to stop a little early so I have somewhat of time to like chill before I have to go to the gym. But because all the Christmas decor is gone now, I want to go back to what we had here in the middle. Here's the thing. I never ended up loving it. It's not this one. It's, we put it in here. which is this gray one. This lighting is absolutely atrocious in this bathroom, but this gray one, but we're gonna try to play around with it a little bit. I just, yeah, I don't love it. I don't really know how else to like put those together where it would look good. I literally I need help. So let me know down below how else I should style this thing or what else I can do with it, but at least it's back to its normal decor. Now I think I'm just going to, it's like two, 2.42. Don't have to leave for the gym. Actually, I never got gas last night, so we do have to leave a little bit early. So I think I'm just gonna stop with cleaning for the day. I'm gonna heat up some more leftovers. There was so much pad thai in there that I had a full meal yesterday, and I think I have a full meal again today. So I'm gonna heat those up, and I'm craving a LaCroix. So we're also going to have one of those, probably sit down watch an episode of Emily in Paris and honestly just sit on my phone and scroll a little bit because I have a three hour LJ practice today and I don't want to go into it with like a crazy stressed out mind. I kind of want to have time to like zen out a little bit. So we're going to do that.
I feel happy with the progress made today. That corner of the vanity being clean instantly just like cleared my brain. Like that needed to be done so long ago. Tomorrow I really wanna tackle obviously the rest of the closet and the living room. Don't look at the, we have three full stacks of boxes that need to be broken down. I'm gonna make that Justin's job tomorrow, but I haven't had a day to like, cause normally my, my Fridays are like my days. However, I've been at the gym every Friday, which means I've been at the gym basically every day. Pretty sure I don't have a day off until, okay, not true actually. We have a few like Mondays off coming up, which is really nice. But normally Fridays are my day that I deep clean the house. But because I haven't had a Friday, I really haven't deep cleaned the house. The house isn't like dirty, like we've cleaned here and there. But normally Fridays, I like go through every inch of this house and I haven't had the time to do that. So I'm hoping tomorrow I can find maybe like an hour to clean everything up. So it's um, 11 o'clock now. Went to the gym, came back, did get Taco Bell on the way home. I didn't even like want it and I really wasn't hungry, but I was like, I know I'm gonna get hungry and I know I have no food at the house. So a nice little chicken quesadilla hit the spot. Um, I am somehow not tired and I don't know how, but we're gonna make myself tired. So we are going to go attempt to find a pair of leggings that I think will be good for the legging curls. Flip these up so they stay. This is definitely a look, that's for sure. The curls don't work out. Then maybe this will be the new hairstyle. Okay. I feel like those are all falling out already. This is not gonna work. What did I do wrong? And then this goes over top. Ugh. And then these tuck in. Oh, look. Um, I don't know how these are gonna work out. I'm gonna be honest, I don't have much faith in them, only because I felt like I didn't do it right. But we'll see you in the morning, hopefully with nice curly hair. Hello. Good morning. Oh, that was the first thing I said. Whew. Um, I don't have high hopes for these. I just feel like they're so loose in here. So we'll see if it was worth it. They weren't that uncomfortable. Like once I got accustomed to like how I wanted to sleep, it was pretty comfy. I mean like it's not terrible because obviously like it does have some curl to it it's just not overall not bad not perfect but not bad Started off the morning by putting away clean clothes and then I realized I, because I like just unpacked for my trips, I have so many sweatpants and sweatshirts I need to get put away and I'm not gonna put them away to then have to take all those down and clean them out. And honestly, I think if I make all the progress in the world and clean out the entire closet, but don't get to the hoodies and sweatpants, it's gonna make me feel like I did nothing because those are like the messiest part in there. So I think that's how we're gonna spend our morning. So I'm gonna have to just like grow a few inches to try to get them up there nicely. So hopefully they'll stay organized, but I think the way that we're gonna do this is bring all of them down, set them on the bed and sort through them to put them all back up. This is insane. I don't think one person needs this many hoodies, but I already know I'm gonna have the hardest time going through these because I genuinely feel like I wear them a lot and I feel like I've already cleaned them out so many times that I don't know how many I'm gonna be able to get rid of. Okay, they're up there, but now I know for a fact they're not gonna stay because I just struggled so hard even trying to get them up there because I can't reach. So I need to find a better scenario for that, but it looks so nice when it looks like this. This middle pile doesn't have as many as the others and now it's kind of driving me nuts, but we're gonna ignore that. That one has a lot, but they're all in a reason for where they are. Those are what I reached to the most. Those are just like, 
my comfy wear around the house hoodies. Those are all sweat set crew necks. Those are just plain crew necks. Those are Nike crew necks. And then those are the other hoodies. So there's reasoning to it. And now this one won't be as hard because this one's lower, but let's tackle these. This makes me so happy. I color coordinated these ones and honestly, I love the way it looks. I kind of wish, cause it like, actually those should have been flipped. Messed up there. It's okay. But I love the way that looks. I kind of wish I would have done that there, but these are by like category. So I think it makes sense. Now comes the hard part. I have to clean out at least like half of this, at least like a third. But like, this is like, these hangers are screaming for dear life. It's so bad. Look at the amount of hangers that we cleared off. That is the pile of clothes. Stay tuned out. Just pay attention to my Instagram and I'll post when or where that these are all going up. It won't be for a while, but there are some good clothes in there. Honestly, majority of them are never worn and that's why I got rid of them. Cause I was like, if I've had them this long and I haven't worn them yet, why am I keeping them kind of thing? And they're all like really nice clothes. So stay tuned for that. But you know, before I did this, cause I, I realized how many clothes I had in the corner, I bought some hangers cause I didn't think I had, well, cause I didn't have any. Now I think I have too many and I'm not quite sure that I have anywhere to store all these hangers, but oh, we did it. Wait, I need to send Justin a picture actually. And it feels so good to be done. I The drawers and stuff are for another day. There's no way I'm getting that done today. It is already 1.44. I should probably order food, which I really don't want to do, but like we don't have groceries and there's no point of getting groceries right now because we're gonna have to go together to like get them for the whole week. And that is not a problem for today. So I'm gonna organize these hangers, figure out where to put them, put these clothes away. And I don't know what's coming next, but honestly, I wouldn't mind just hanging out. Food is ordered. I ordered bole, which I absolutely love. And then I was like, okay, I have 30 minutes until the food comes and we've come too far to just stop here. There is an insane amount of boxes from Christmas still that have not been broken down. We have three full stacks of boxes by the door. And I just feel like I won't feel successful. And like what I did today will not feel like I did anything if that looks like that and my space is not completely clean. So we're gonna see how much we can get done before the food comes. We're down to like 25 minutes, but what sparked this is I just had Amazon, uh, why did I just blank? Amazon boxes, I guess, Amazon delivery. And now I have even more boxes and I'm like, I cannot keep stacking them. So we're gonna set the timer till food comes, see how much we can get done. It is like box, box so many like literally the whole entryway is boxes and that is not okay so we're gonna fix that right now got the food um and then i didn't have time to finish everything i also like really wanted this juice for some reason pineapple and ginger not sure why but um i didn't have time to finish the boxes i have like a set out there they're not going to take them all at once anyway so i have a full set out there right now with the trash for them to take and then justin said he'll finish the rest later but I did vacuum and clean up the living room in the meantime, which makes me feel so much better. So I think we're just gonna end there. And honestly, I think we're gonna end this here because I have two minutes left of recording on my memory card anyway. And I feel like this is probably a really long video. I feel like I've talked a lot, but it's been great. And I'm very excited for this year. I love that this is my first video back. I was just like sitting and reflecting and I don't like, the version of me that existed in 2022 it's not that i wasn't i feel like i was just so comfortable and just coasting through life and i feel like it was it was necessary it was like a new time in my relationship like i feel like for once i slowed down but i'm realizing that that's not me and i'm ready to go 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 and i'm very excited for this year and i really want to stick to everything that i've written down i made a vision board we're manifesting good in 2023 it's gonna be a good year so hope you enjoyed this video hopefully it inspired you a little bit to either get up and clean or just do something that you've been putting off for a while because this is long overdue for me but i'm very happy that it is done so hope you enjoyed this video give it a big like comment down below subscribe turn post notifications on all that and i will see you in the next video